Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. We just passed 700 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I hope I can continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. In Chapel Hill, North Carolina, the good news just keeps on rolling in. Harrison Ingram, the former Stanford forward, has decided to commit to the North Carolina Tar Heels. I'm going to go over how important of a commitment this is for North Carolina and what I think North Carolina is suddenly an ACC title contender for next season. Now, Harrison Ingram, he was a former McDonald's All-American, a five-star recruit that decided to suit up for the Stanford Cardinals two years ago. He's a really smart player, a really smart high IQ individual having played for the Stanford Cardinal, and that is a great university for academics as well. And he was a guy that a lot of people thought would be a one-and-done, and he has a lot of talent. You can definitely tell when he was at Stanford, some of the plays that he made, he is a really talented player. He is a special player, but he had a lot of issues overall trying to find his footing in college basketball and there were some things that he was not doing at a high level which is why he is still in the college game but he is a six foot seven 230 pound forward that has a lot of talent and he displayed it at countless times over and over at Stanford he averaged 10 and a half points per game 5.8 rebounds and 3.7 assists this past season for Stanford that assist number is great for a six foot seven forward and also he's a pretty solid rebounder he can score at all three levels of the four he can get to the rim he's also a guy that can shoot the three, but he didn't shoot the three ball well enough, I don't think, in college to be able to go pro yet. He shot 40.8% from the field this past season, 31.9% from the three-point line, and he only shot 59.8% from the free throw line. That is not great. The free throw number you would like to be around 70% and maybe around 35% from three. But overall, he's not a bad shooter. I definitely think he can get better at shooting the three ball, but the free throw number has to improve for sure. But besides all that, besides the weaknesses in Harrison Ingram's game, this is a massive addition for the North Carolina Tar Heels because UNC, they are losing a lot of talent to the transfer. Well, they've lost Puff Johnson. They've lost Caleb Love. Caleb Love, even though he was a polarizing player, he was still a fantastic player for the Tar Heels last year when he was playing well, which wasn't very often, but he's still a really talented player. You have to be able to replace that talent with talent. And North Carolina has already brought in Paxson Wojcik from Brown, a guard transfer who has a lot of potential to have a solid role for North Carolina next season. Obviously, he's going to have to translate that success at Brown over to North Carolina and the Power 5 level. That will be tough, but I think he can. Jalen Withers, he's a solid forward that's transferring from Louisville. Louisville was a bad team last year, but you never want to let that fool you when you're bringing in a player. Jalen Withers wants to win, and I think he could be a guy that can't have success with the Tar Heels next year. Cormac Ryan just broke yesterday. That was a great addition for North Carolina. And if that was the biggest transfer that UNC brought in, then that definitely would have showed that North Carolina potentially was trending upwards in the ACC for next season. And that maybe Hubert Davis, who was maybe on the hot seat a bit with the Tar Heel faithful, maybe not with the potential of getting fired yet, but Hubert Davis definitely did not have a lot of goodwill left after this past season for the North Carolina Tar Heel fans. They definitely want to win. They're a blue blood program that should not be missing NCAA tournament tournaments on a regularity, but Hubert Davis, after bringing in Cormac Ryan, a transfer guard from Notre Dame who had a lot of success for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish last year, he's a great three-point shooter, he's a great team player, and again, if that was the biggest transfer you're bringing in, then Carolina would have been in great shape for next season, but now you're bringing in Harrison Ingram as well, and Harrison Ingram, even though he averaged fewer points per game than Cormac Ryan this past season, Harrison Ingram has way more upside than Cormac Ryan. He's a younger player, he's only going into his junior season whereas Cormac Ryan will be a fifth-year senior. And Harrison Ingram was a former five-star recruit that I think and believe he still has a chance to be an NBA player in the future if he can bring it all together. Maybe at North Carolina he'll be able to do that. Being surrounded by better athletes and better players that might be able to give him the basketball in better situations where he'll have a lot more success. Maybe he'll shoot the ball better from the three-point line considering the fact that he's going to have more talent around him and R.J. Davis will be able to set him up for a lot of great passes next season. And Harrison Ingram will be able to shoot a better percentage from three, taking better shots overall. But I'm looking at North Carolina's roster, and it has suddenly become a dangerous basketball team. You've got R.J. Davis at the point guard position coming back for North Carolina. Now you've got Cormac Ryan at the two, potentially. And you have Harrison Ingram at the three. Armando Baycott at the five. Maybe Jalen Withers will be at the four. But that is a deadly starting line. North Carolina is looking very dangerous for next season. They could potentially be an ACC title contender. Duke's going to be great next year. They have a great freshman class coming in. And they got Kyle Filipowski back, so I think Duke 
could be one of the best teams in the ACC next year. Virginia is always there with Tony Bennett. Some of these other teams are looking pretty solid in the ACC for next year, but North Carolina has been doing a fantastic job in the transfer portal, and Hubert Davis had to have this because of the fact you're losing Caleb Love to the portal, Puff Johnson, Leaky Black's graduated, Pete Nance has graduated. Harrison Inger might be able to slide right into that Leaky Black slash Pete Nance role in the corner, but be able to take the ball off the dribble as well and get to the rim. He rebounds at an extremely high level, and he's also a guy that can pass the ball. He might be a good connector piece for R.J. Davis on not having to be the only guy that can get the ball down low to Armando Baycott. Since Harrison Inger matters four assists per game last season, he might be able to set up Armando Baycott as well. So you'll have several players on the North Carolina roster next season that can get the ball to the big guy down low and Armando Baycott. But North Carolina's roster is looking very dangerous overall. They look like they could be one of the better teams in college basketball next season. They have a good freshman class coming in in Simeon Wilcher and Zayden Ha, two four-star recruits. Jalen Washington and Seth Trimble are back. So they have a lot of depth. That's one thing North Carolina did not have last season. They did not have a lot of depth on their bench. A lot of their bench players did not contribute at a high level. Well, now North Carolina is going to have probably three or four or maybe even five guys that can come off the bench and score at a high level. They have a deep basketball team now, and even though you are losing Caleb Love and some of the other players that North Carolina had last year, I think this North Carolina team has the potential to be even deeper, even better, and they're a longer team as well. Harrison Ingram is a long player. He is an athletic player. A lot of programs won. Kansas thought that they were getting Harrison Ingram. A lot of these other schools really wanted Harrison Ingram as well, and North Carolina being able to land him shows you that North Carolina still has a big pull in the recruiting base. You had the success that Dean Smith and Roy Williams has had at North Carolina. They are a blue blood program, and Hubert Davis, he had some struggles last season, but if he can bring this roster together and be able to have a lot of success, that will bode well for the future for North Carolina. They'll still be able to recruit at a high level, and in the transfer portal, they might be able to bring in almost whoever they want because players are going to want to play for a winning blue Blue Blood program, and North Carolina is doing all the right things in this offseason, but you've got to mesh the talent together. You have to put a good product on the floor, but I'm looking at North Carolina's roster. There's not a lot of holes on the roster at all. They have a lot of guys that are team basketball players that want to share the ball. Cormac Ryan, he loves to share the basketball with his teammates. Harrison Ingram does as well, and they're upgrading the talent overall now with Harrison Ingram. He is a very talented player. He could potentially be the most talented player on North Carolina's team next season. If he improves in some areas like three-point shooting, and free throw shooting. He will be a massive addition for North Carolina next season. Pair him with Cormac Ryan, R.J. Davis, Armando Baycott, and potentially whoever else will step up for North Carolina next year. And maybe Huber Davis isn't done in the portal. They might be getting near their scholarship limit now. But overall, this is a really talented basketball team for North Carolina. They're looking like they could have a fantastic season next year in college basketball, potentially a top 15 team overall next season. And you never know. They could possibly be an ACC title contender and maybe in an Elite Eight team if they can go far in March Madness. You don't want to get ahead of yourself but North Carolina has vastly improved the roster the last two days. Bringing in Cormac Ron from Notre Dame, he'll be a great guard shooting the three and being a great team player for North Carolina next season. And Harrison Ingram, you've just got a former five-star McDonald's All-American talented forward that's going to be able to come and have a lot of success for North Carolina next season. If he improves at certain things, then I think Harrison Ingram could be by far North Carolina's biggest transfer addition next season and potentially help the Tarles have a way better season in college basketball next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Harrison Ingram transferring to the North Carolina Tar Heels as well and how much you think North Carolina will be an improved basketball team with Cormac Ryan, Harrison Ingram, and some of the other transfers they've brought in and whether you think this could save Hubert Davis' job at the North Carolina Tar Heels. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.